So, look at this child over here. You can see that his cornea is abnormally large. His eyes are also abnormally large. Sometimes our Indian parents feel really proud that the child is having, you know, beautiful large eyes. But it is a very dangerous condition and they really need to be aware of this. It indicates bophthalmus. Okay, because of increased intraocular pressure, we have discussed that the eyes enlarge. Now, what is the cause of this? It is because of an anatomical blockage in the outflow of aqueous by a membrane called the Barkens membrane. Now, see this is my cornea and this is the iris. Okay, this is the angle. What happens in this child is that there is a membrane like this. There is this Barkens membrane that blocks the angle of the child and hence there is no drainage of aqueous outside. So, there is increased intraocular pressure. Now, it is a congenital anomaly and it is of autosomal recessive type. Whenever I utter this word, the first thing that you have to think of is consanguineous marriage. More common in India that people marry their second cousins and children born out of such marriages have uh, more predisposition to congenital glaucoma. Okay, now there's another triad over here which is special for our congenital glaucoma. The first one being lacrimation. The mother gets the child to you saying that ever since the child was born, the baby's eyes are watering. That's the first one. Then the second one is a photophobia. That is the child has difficulty in looking at the light whenever its eyes are exposed to light the child immediately closes the eyes. The second, uh, the third one is blepharospasm. That is, the eyelids of the child are firmly closed. Even in dim light conditions or even in the night times, the child is unable to open the eyes properly because of blepharospasm. So, the triad, classic triad of uh, bufthalmus or congenital glaucoma is lacrimation, photophobia and blepharospasm okay questions can be asked on this so kindly memorize this now when you examine the child the signs that you see are the first one is our large eyes bifthalmus the second one is that the cornea is hazy due to corneal edema let's understand what happens here normally there is the endothelial pump in our cornea the endothelial cells let's imagine these are the endothelial cells Whenever the aqueous humor comes in contact with these endothelial cells, the endothelial pump helps in pumping out the aqueous humor and keeps the uh, cornea transparent. However, when the intraocular pressure is very high, this endothelial pump is not enough to maintain the transparency. That is the uh, pressure overcomes the uh, endothelial pump resistance and hence there is fluid collection in the cornea causing a hazy cornea. Okay. Now the third most important point over here is Habs striae. Please remember this term. Habs striae are horizontal. H is for Habs and H is for horizontal. Another, types of, uh, another type of striae are Vogt striae. They are vertical. The Vogt's Vogts striae are vertical, V for Vogts, V for vertical, they are seen in a different condition. However, let's look at Habs striae over here. They are horizontal breaks in the decimates membrane that are characteristic of congenital glaucoma. They are horizontal, please remember this clearly. So now that you have diagnosed, let's look at the treatment of this condition. Depending on the condition of the cornea, see the main um, modality of management is always surgical in congenital glaucoma because you have to remove that membrane that is present blocking our angle. So, whether the cornea is clear or not will decide what type of surgery we will be taking up. So, suppose we are lucky and the clear, cornea is clear, we will go for this procedure called goniotomy. Goniotomy is very rare in India because the patient comes to you very late. By the time the parents realize that there is something wrong with the child's eyes, 
it's very late and the cornea becomes hazy so this procedure is rarely done in india so the procedure for choice in india is either trabeculotomy or a combination of trabeculotomy plus trabeculectomy that we call it as trab plus trab let's look at these procedures now just to understand what is done in goniotomy the barkens membrane is punctured by a needle so that the aqueous can flow out through the hole you have made in the barkens membrane okay so for that in order to visualize the barkens membrane you require a clear cornea so when you visualize the cornea you make a hole uh, when you visualize the angle you make a hole in the barkens membrane to allow the outflow of intra of uh, aqueous humor hence reducing the intraocular pressure now trabeculotomy is more common in india because the approach is clearer please look at this over here the cornea uh, the angle is being approached to th through the sclera so there is nothing to do with your cornea hence it is more preferred so the procedure is that a small hole is made in the trabecula meshwork so that the aqueous can flow out of it here the hole is made in trabecula meshwork whereas in goniotomy you make the hole in barkens membrane okay now let's look at the combination surgery our trab plus a trab as the name suggests trabeculectomy me i am going to remove a piece of trabecular meshwork as well along with making a hole in trabecular meshwork so when i have removed this piece the aqueous humor can easily flow out and collect beneath the conjunctiva from where it is absorbed into our systemic circulation that until it is absorbed it forms a bleb over there okay so this is a trabeculotomy plus trabeculectomy Hello everyone this is Dr Sai Suguna your mentor for ophthalmology at Medico app thanks for watching the video now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app the trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below